I caught my ex cheating on me through Facebook Marketplace. First of all, I have so many questions. Like, huh? I mean, innovative. Y'all just, right? <laughs> like, they just finding new ways new now. New ways to be sneaky. What is up, guys? My name is Tila Dunn, and welcome back to another episode of Anonymously Yours. Today, we have a very special guest. By the way, guys, before we <laughs> jump into that, if you are new here, every single week I'm joined with an incredible guest and friend of mine, and we react to the craziest anonymous stories that you guys send in. So make sure you keep sending and submitting your crazy stories. It will always remain anonymous. We will not expose you. We will give our advice and, you know, just have a little fun with it. But... <laughs> Now it's time to introduce you guys to our incredible guest, Joe! Hello. <laughs> How are you, Joe? I'm great. How are you? Thank you for having me on and honestly yours. Absolutely. I guys, okay. Girl. We have a lot to uncover, okay? <laughs> I've known Joe four or five and a half years, almost six years now. Yeah. Um, and I always like to give stories of how I meet my guests or how we've met. And we have a story for Child. anonymously yours, okay? We met <laughs> because of an ex-boyfriend mm. of mine, which is crazy to say. Girl, first off, I got to say, <laughs> your roster. One thing Tila's going to do is have a hot man. That's so true. <laughs> I've got, I'm not, you know, not to do my own, I have dated some beautiful men mm. they are they're all chef's kiss 10 out of 10 aesthetically did it last inside no, no. inside lemons maybe not after too much. junker after junker after lemon like <laughs> but were they beautiful absolutely yeah, we'll tell you that but yes the beauty is it's it's beauty is in the eye of the beholder absolutely mm. and it's so much more than just the aesthetic yeah absolutely yeah and back then i definitely was more of a you know, I'm not afraid to admit this. I definitely was more, you know, uh, physically, like I had to date yeah. somebody that I'm physically attracted to, and that's like the number one, whereas right. now, and it just comes with age, genuinely. Absolutely. Like, I'm 25 now. I, For me, like, you know, compared to how I was when I was dating, like, 18, 19, I was so on looks, and now I'm mm -hmm. like, it's so much more than looks. Yeah, like, that you have a lot more life so experience more. now. Yeah. So it's it's easy to understand that it's so much more than just looks and looks fade. I looks mean, fade. not for us cause black don't crack. Black don't crack. But, <laughs> very true. Very true. But yeah, I'm also proud of you that you are looking deeper in a lot of your relationships. Yeah. You know, shout out to you. Period. But yeah. honestly, shout out to my ex for like that. Right. The fact that I know you. That honestly. is very like, real because we don't, I will say. we don't talk to him at all. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen the last time I saw him was two years ago. Mm. And he delivered drinks to back when I lived at the clubhouse. <laughs> and he was with back when he was dating the. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't we don't speak of her. We don't talk about her. We don't we don't not even gonna give her no promo. But yeah, and they both came together. It was so weird. I was it was like, awkward. This I is think it so was, weird. I think it was like 2018. I ran into them at oh, a wait, Halloween no. party. Wait, no. Okay, yes, no, because that was the year that I also ran into him at Coachella. Wait, remember I took that photo and did, I was wait, like, did we run into each other at uh, no, at Neon Carnival? With me. No, no, no. Yes, we did. But also, do you remember that pool party that you and I were both at? Girl, we've been to so many parties. It was a Coachella party, and, and he was yes, there. Yes, yes, And I was like, yes. oh, my God, he's right there. That was so <laughs> crazy. And he picked me up Girl, in front of the girlfriend. Awkward. And took a photo. The girlfriend came up to me and was like, why don't you like me? And I was <gasps> like, first off, I don't like your man. I'm not talking to you. You are guilty by association. Bye. <laughs> I didn't even know she did that. That's so I funny. I swear it was so awkward. I was like, don't kill my buzz. No. Especially no, at Neon no Carnival. Way. Especially Never at, at Neon, Neon Carnival. Carnival. Like, do not ruin do this not for me. Do not disturb at Neon Carnival. That's do not crazy. disturb. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the last time I saw him was two years ago, and he came with her. And I will say, he seems way happier now. So kudos to him. I, right. I, I didn't. I don't even want to. He's not even with no, that one anymore. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like good for him now because right. I. I feel like he seems really happy with this with this one. Yeah. I never thought he looked truly happy with the other one. That's real. And that's not even me being jealous because like I never our feelings were not that deep. It was not that deep. Right. Was, there was no I love yous in the relationship. It was definitely carnal rage. Yeah. I mean, it was not. Mm. It was just so it wasn't even me being jealous after we broke up for his new relationship. I just was like, I don't see this lasting. Right. And it actually lasted a long time. But now he's with someone else and he seems really happy. So good for you. We love wish love. You, wish you we all the love. best. Sure, you're watching. Anyway, <laughs> you know he keeping tabs. You know what I mean. They all, they always, they always come mm -hmm. back. But I will say, shout out. I love meeting people organically, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm such a person of like fate. Like I, I just believe in fate and the universe and all that shit. And for me, like just the fact that we met organically, like so randomly, and now I you're such it. a big part of my life. Like my, like he's family to me. Like my mom oh, yes. is obsessed with him. My whole family loves him. My sister, like they just all. Also, love shout him. out to Mama Dunn. Shout out shout to out Mama, Mama Dunn. Dun. Shout out to Mama. <laughs> I literally have the best mom in the world. She is just 
a, a gem, truly, yeah. and just the most supportive mother ever. And she absolutely adores you. I, like every time my mom sees Joe, she's like, "Bye, Tila," and they just start talking for like an hour. And I'm like, "Okay, it's fine. I that's get very it. Real. I that's get very it." Real. But um, yeah, she's, she's one of the few the like parents love me. By the way, it is true. Um, but she's one of the only ones that I actively text on Mother's Day, yep. on yep. Christmas. I make yeah, sure all that the holidays. even if we don't see each other, because obviously we'll see each other more yeah. because we're yeah. more on the scene. Of course. But I never want it to seem like I don't appreciate her and just like. I value her. She's such. She's a second mom for me out here. Yeah. So I love that. Shout out to you, Mama. Shout out to Mama Dan. We yeah. love Mama Dan. <laughs> but Joe, what have you been working on? Ooh, Tell child. us a little bit about the show. So for those that don't know, for some of you, some of you may recognize me, some of you may not. But I am on MTV's hit reality show Siesta Key. Yes. And that is messy. Ooh, it is so messy. Ooh. Um, ooh, <laughs> the way. <laughs> A lot of my arguments, so I'm a very emotional person, yeah. and I have no problem telling you like it is. As you should. And, and I will correct you yep. left and right. Yep. And you very guys, will, you guys will see some of that. And I, I think it's, life is too short not to be passionate about something, yeah. and especially when Life's it's too your, short to live with regrets, too. Absolutely. Like, no one has time for that. Absolutely. And I have no problem correcting you so that you go down the right path. Yeah. And, because I just feel like a lot of people- make really, really terrible decisions because they think they can rectify it down the road, but mm -hmm. you don't, tomorrow's not promised. It's true. And so if if it comes off as I'm being messy, then I'll be messy. That's fine, <laughs> but I said what I said. You said what you said, <laughs> you'll say it again. Um, okay, well, now that we're diving into the juice, right. I am going to read to you all the stories that we have coming up for this okay. episode that we're gonna be reacting to. So here are the lists. Mm -hmm. I haven't read any of this, by the way, so we're both in this together. Love it. Um, coming up, we have my ex boyfriend, my ex boy, my ex friend's boyfriend slid into my DMs. All bad. Toxic. Mm -hmm. um, number two, I caught my ex cheating on me through Facebook Marketplace. Innovative, but huh? trash. <laughs> huh? I have questions about that one. Very much so. Number three, my friends, my friends and I hacked into our classmates' kick account. People still okay. use a kick? Right. I need more on that one. That's I need, we need to like, dive into okay, that one for that's sure. That's just strange. Number four, a love triangle split my friend group apart. Ooh, Ooh that we happens. We love the mess. But we love the mess. Ooh. Um, now it is time to dive into story number one. Joe, are you ready for this? Bring it on. Okay, here we go. My ex friend's boyfriend slid into my DMs while they were dating. Nope. Ooh, red flag. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. <laughs> One night I was on Instagram and I get a message from a random user, not knowing who it was. I answered. He said hi. And from then on, we were talking. Talking became flirting and we talked for about two days straight. Okay. Okay. The third day, I went to hang out with my friends and one of our friends told us that she needed advice about her boyfriend. We said sure. And then she told us the name of her boyfriend and I was in shock. It was the same name as the user I had been flirting with on Instagram. So I had to ask what his last name was. And when she said and what she said left me crying because i felt so bad she said the same last name as the instagram user i told her everything and she didn't believe me until i showed her the proof and she just stayed with her mouth open i told her i was sorry and that i completely did not know but she said it was fine and that it wasn't my fault a few moments later i received a message from her saying she didn't want to be friends anymore and i was fine with it because i get it but now she turned everyone against me. And to this day, she is still with the same boyfriend. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. I have no, many, no, no. many feelings and thoughts on this. No, no. First of all. Canceled. This is canceled. All bad. Right. He's trash. He's, he's trash. garbage. He's, he's just complete trash. Vetoed. And also, he's Bye. bold to pick somebody in her immediate Correct. friend group. But my question is, how do you not know your friend's boyfriend? That's a little suspicious, too. Like, right? You wouldn't know his name? something a photo you guys want to follow each other on instagram yeah. and see that she's posted with him yeah i'm confused as to why she doesn't know that that's homegirl's boyfriend i agree too that's that is weird. a little strange second i'm sorry homegirl but you need better friends you need way better friends like, because i question and actually had to deal with this in my personal life not with me but with one of my friends mm -hmm. where she was very concerned about the whole friend group turning on her when she and another friend's relationship dissolved. Mm. And I tried to instill in her, I'm like, look, 
do you value those friendships and do they value you? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't matter what happens with yeah. you and one other person. Yep. You should have strong and fortified relationships with the with each person in each in the group. Exactly. It shouldn't like, depend on just one other. Exactly. Thing one person apart. can't turn all of you against me unless, unless you, you didn't don't value. have a foundation. Exactly. Yeah, you don't yeah. respect me. You don't value me as a friend. So, so my thing is to you, homegirl. I'm sorry, but you need better friends. Yeah. Completely. Like, there's that. And also, but you know what? Kudos to you for going to the, the like, friend, the to friend the girl. and being honest with yeah. her. Yeah. I will say that is just such a messed up situation, especially the fact that she's still with him. That's so I good. mean, girl, he's going to do it again. He that part. Do it again and again and again and again. Did you not learn? Just with, like he's already he's already done it once. Yeah. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. And it's also like shady to me because for me, I just feel like the girl that's still with the guy who's literally a cheater is fake because she's straight up told the girl, the friend, oh, it's fine. Like, I forgive you, da, da, da. And then she turned the whole friend group around her and then right. she's still with the boyfriend. There's lies. Like, there's, there's lies. There's deceit. Right. There's no trust. No no so trust just, in girl, anywhere in this gotta relationship. you got to get yourself a whole new friend group. Absolutely. Honestly, I think take it as a blessing, as hard as it is. Mm. It's a hard pill to swallow. Take it as a blessing. That is real. Because at the end of the day, this is not your squad. 100%. At all. Like, so this, something so dramatic had to happen so that you cannot be friends with these people. Anymore. Right. The universe, God, whichever belief system you choose to subscribe to, yep. removes people that out of your life no that don't longer deserve serve to be, you. Absolutely. Yep. yep. So you, know, you have to just think of it like that. Like it happened said, for a reason. Life is too short yep. to be surrounded by really shitty people. Yep. And all of them are really shitty, especially yep. if they leave you. Yep. Not a friend. Not a friend. Bye. Canceled. Canceled. Bye. See you later. On to the next one. Also, guy, bro. you're trash. Yeah, trash. <laughs> He's so trash. He's ugh, disgusting. Okay, time for story number two. I caught my ex cheating on me through Facebook Marketplace. First of all, I have so many questions. Like, huh? I mean, innovative. Y'all just, right? <laughs> like, they just find a new ways New now. ways to be sneaky. Like, what's next? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. My ex and I were officially together for about three months and things were going great, or so I thought. I met him on Bumble, but we grew up near each other and knew a couple mutual people. I had recently started a new job in person at a PR agency and he worked from home. He works in tech, but one of his favorite side hobbies was buying home decor, like tables, chairs, dressers, etc., on Facebook Marketplace, and then refurbishing them to resell. He was constant, constantly flipping furniture as a side hustle. That's cool. Right. It's pretty different. <clears throat> one day, I was at work, and one of my coworkers pulled me aside. I wasn't super close with her, and we didn't hang out outside of work. But we followed each other on Instagram, so she had seen photos of me and my boyfriend. She pulls up a Facebook Marketplace post where she had listed a white-knit rug for sale and goes, Isn't this your boyfriend? Mm. My heart dropped. My ex had responded to her post asking if the rug was for sale, she had said yes, and then he messaged her saying that she was so pretty. And was, was she single? Could he pick it up in person, etc.? And he had sent her a mirror selfie of him. Nope. So gross. I was mortified. That night, I confronted my boyfriend and made him give me his phone so I could check his Facebook Marketplace messages. Turns out, his furniture flipping hobby wasn't just a furniture flipping hobby. He was literally using it to hit on girls online. I didn't know he was actually hooking up with anyone or if he was just messaging them, but he definitely went to pick up items in person a lot, so it's very possible. I didn't even want to know at this point. I obviously broke up with him right away and haven't heard from him since. Oh mm. my um. God. Oh my God. That is next level. That's next level sneaky. City boys like, are down. City boys are down, down bad. Today at this point, that you know what that is? That is next level crazy. That to me is like swiper of the fox. Oh, when I like that's crazy. At what? I wonder how many other methods he used to cheat on this girl yeah. and past girls. Yeah. Before he got to Facebook Marketplace. I agree. Because that is so out of the box. That's so, that's crazy like, sneaky. But you know what? Before we give him this attention, because he also, guy, you're trash. Yeah, trash. I have trash. to say shout out to Homegirl that ended it without needing closure. Yep. I feel like something that a lot of people deal with is they break, they have these breakups, but then they feel They like need closure. They need they this keep closure. Wanting like, to meet up was for it coffee? me? Was it was something it I what did? Happened? Like, yep. what could I and have done it, differently? And then it goes on forever. Exactly. Then it's easy for them to fall back into the cycle. The, the cycle into the relationship. Yep. Yep. But she said, nope, cut that shit off no. real quick. Bye. You're trash. Yeah. See you later. She said goodbye. Like, so kudos to you. Shout out to you, homegirl. Um, but back to you, guy. You're crazy. What? what is this? Messy. 
You're also, messy as heck. Also, back to home, girl. Get checked. Yeah, yeah. Get Please checked. Please do. Please do. You know, we got too many viruses yep. running around. Yep. We don't need any of and that. And what we not gonna do? No. Because this mean up in person to pick up the furniture. Do you really picking up the furniture? Child. Or you mean up in person for other reasons? Child. Now I'm Mr. looking at you. Trash. Now I'm looking at you as a businessman. Right. Because that could be an extra charge. Right. You coming between your own bags, sir? Trying to we, gas prices. Right. We, there's inflation. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. No, that is next level crazy. Like, I don't. What do you even say? No words. Like, There's no words. You're, sir. He's trash. He's trash. I don't even know. Like, also, shout out to Homegirl at, at work. Yeah. Who oh. Said, who said, hey, shout, is out this, to, shout out to the co man. She I said, know, wait a minute. Because it's like, we're not that close. We're not that cool. Yeah, we she follow didn't have each to other. Do that, like, we don't talk, they're not friends, but she still did it. Right. I appreciate I that. I respect that. We respect that. We need we need so many more people in the world that are just willing to do what's right. Yeah. It doesn't matter the, the depth of the relationship. Good. Not exactly. even because they fully know the person or loyal. It's just like right. because to clear your conscience. There's some people that will be like, oh, I don't really know them that well. I, you know, our relationship isn't that deep. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be like, oh, they'll figure it out. But yep. the fact that, you know, they. We're she prevented passing. her from a, a crazier heartbreak, honestly. Exactly. At least she cut it off. Right. Shout out to you. Off. Shout out to you. Homegirl. Shout out to Homegirl. And him, he's trash. Right. You're Bye. Veto. See Bye. you later. Bye. See you later. Um, okay. Now time for story number three. Mm. My friends and I hacked into our classmate's kick account. First of all, what? What? <laughs> My friends and I were in high school at the time when Kick was very popular. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, ain't nobody on right. Kick right He's now. Been like, eighty-four years. <laughs> eighty-four years. <laughs> like what? There was this mean girl we didn't like, so we came up with the perfect idea to see who could hack into her account, mm -mm. and that was me. When I surprisingly got logged in, we found so many sexual messages between random people and even exchanged nudes. <gasps> nope. Okay, that's just. I don't think that's cool. My friends and I were so shocked because these people were grown men. <gasps> Old enough to be her father. Okay, Messy, this is next trash. level. They probably knew her age at the time. The sex messages were absolutely insane. And I mean insane. Disturbing, a quotation. Well, and we ended up logging out so fast because we were grossed out. Every time we see her in school, we were too stunned to even look at her. Damn, what's she doing? Right. We never exposed her, and she never found out what we did. So my friends and I have kept it a secret ever since. Sadly, some boy ended up exposing some pictures she sent to the whole grade on an Instagram exposing page later. And I'll never forget that. I have many emotions on this. I Many emotions. Okay, I will say I'm glad that they didn't, like, leak anything or send anything because obviously when you start getting into like people's nudes that's just like right. i just think that's just game over right let people express their body the way they want to express their body and like revenge like doing that i don't i don't like that at right. all no matter how mean the person is that's their business right but that's crazy i just think it's a little hypocritical that they are calling this girl a mean girl when they are doing something that's something even that's, more that's mean evil. And, and even sh Literally more shady evil. right yeah Two wrongs don't make a right. Right. On on one hand, I'm a little conflicted because like I'm all I think every friend group has that detective. Yes, who, absolutely. But it's like use your talents for good. You yeah. know, you know, do deep dives onto their social to see if they actually look like their photos or yep. if it's all edited yep. or if they're yep. single. If yeah. you know, yeah, do, do that. deep dives like that. Right. But when you use your skills, loosely used, to Ruin somebody's life, essentially. That is an invasion of privacy. And also hacking? Come on. That's like, right. y'all doing too much. Right. I don't agree with that. Who is hacking things in high school? That wasn't me. No. The way I was not Y'all too tech savvy. Like, Child, what is, what's right. going on? I just feel like, look, if she's mean girl, just like, don't associate yourself with her. Right. Don't involve yourself with her. Don't include her in things and move right along your business. But hacking into our personal things are crazy. Right. I think in every stage of life, whether you're younger, older, whatever, there's always going to be mean people out there. That's just the world we live in. Yeah. But I think... It's easy to ignore them. You, there's so many more areas in life. Focus so, on the positive. Exactly. Yeah. And if you they don't, if like, you don't they, like her, then move on. Move on. It seems like they wasted a lot of high school energy on this girl. Exactly. Like, damn. like was it jealousy? Like, did you want to be and her also, friend and she didn't want to be your friend? Also, let's be real. They just said she was mean. Like, can you elaborate? Exactly. What does mean? She, did, did does she have not? a resting bitch face? Because we all have I, that sometimes. I mean, I do. And that doesn't mean a person's mean. Right. She could just be observing. Maybe she's more reserved. Like, what exactly did she do to you? Right. So Let's it's like get as, more much, context. as much as y'all, like, it's, they want to say that she's mean. My thing is, she could have been having a bad day. Yeah. You what know? exactly did she what, do? Exactly. Did she, like, um, unless, now, I wanted to hear a story of, she, you know, took my man and she called me this and blah, blah. There was none of that. Right. So was this an episode of? 
of Elite? Have you seen yeah, Elite no, on Netflix? I need, I Girl, watch, watch it. it. There are what five Next seasons. Level. Next level. When I say it gave everything I needed it to give, there That's was what there says. was conflict, there was controversy, there was sex, there was money, there was alcohol, there was scandal, scandal, there was drugs, there was Ooh, like all kinds everything. of stuff. Like it's it's Ooh. a um, it's a Spanish drama, Spain mm. type, and um, no, I've heard of it. America it's so popular. can never reproduce this type of no. like scripted drama. It's in it's next level, insane. Watch it. This is a shameless plug to Elite on Netflix. Watch, watch it. it. Wow. I'm going to watch it. I watch need to watch out. it after this. And you need to tell me. I'll rewatch I, it with you. Literally. I will oh, rewatch okay. it with you. Let's Child. do that. Um, okay. So for our final story, I do okay. this with all my guests. I have you read the story. Child, so can, section four, here you are. All right. Section four. Not you yes. put me on the spot yes. to read. <laughs> sorry, now I don't got sorry. my glasses. I can't see a thing without my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom is just like, um, I can't see. A love triangle split my high school friend group apart. Oof. My best friend in high school was dating this guy. Let's call him Nick. Nick and his best friend, let's call him Evan, mm. hung out with me and my best friend all the time. We were all part of the same friend group. Nick and my friend had been dating for around six months, but during spring of our senior year, she knew that she wanted to break up with him. She just didn't see the relationship going anywhere um, for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. So she talked to Nick and they broke up around March. Okay, that's what you do. If you don't see it right. going, you move on. I and respect that's that. that. No cheating. I respect it. Period. In April of that year, our whole group, our whole friend group went to Coachella and mm. we, we love, love us some Coachella. Coachella. We love Shout Coachella. Out Coachella. <laughs> Um, we were car camping at Coachella. We Ooh, will never I'm car sorry. camp. Sorry, that could that's never be us, doing. but I support that. I'm, a, so, I'm, I'm sorry. You do you. I don't do camping. Mm, live your best life. Yeah, could never um, be us. Imagine that. <sighs> Imagine that. No. No, I can't. That's a whole other reality show. <laughs> We'd be like, here's the AC. We're sweating. We're sweating off our glam. Just right. No, Just think about that. It makes not. me hot. Oh Ooh, my God, child. no. Never. <clears throat> And so we had, since we had already bought the tickets and Nick and my friends were still on good terms, they decided to still go and camp together. Oof. Rough. Oof. Nick got food poisoning on day one. Ooh. All bad. Ooh. And ended up hanging back at the campsite while the rest of us went to the festival. Ooh. At the festival, my friend and Evan, Nick's best friend, were super flirty and touchy. Oh. Ooh. I see this going very, this very is bad. Ba this is bad. They were like this the entire weekend, and after Coachella, she confessed to me that she was into Evan. They started dating a few weeks later. Ooh. Since we were all in the same friend group, it was only a matter of time before Nick found out about my friend and Evan. Mm. He did not take it well. Mm. Evan tried to talk it out with him, but Nick would only talk to Evan through other people. Oh, come on. What right, is grow up. Home? Right. Come on now. Like he would tell me something that he wanted me to relate to Nick. Mm -mm. The tension kept escalating until finally, a week before we graduated, Nick told Evan to meet him in our, okay, high school, meet us, <laughs> to meet him in our school parking lot one night so they could talk it out. Okay, this sounds like a fight. Ciao. Ooh. Evan met Nick in the parking lot. I mean, we were all spying on them from a park car, as you as should, on the other side of the street. They started to get into a physical fight, oh. and our other friend ran out of our car to pull them apart. Oh, my God. Nick had brought a little Boy Scout Swiss Army knife oh. and was waving it around. I'm sorry, what? All bad. This it was is an, crazy. It was an insane way for our friend group to split apart, and Nick still refuses to talk to Evan to this day. Okay, my question is... Why is he so upset? Did he want the girl? I mean... I'm lost. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I'm so lost. First off... It's never Nick, that deep. Nick, um, you you were willing to risk it all. He was about to stab for him. For a girl who did not want you. She never wanted you. She did. She never wanted you. That's, that's the a clock ran strange out. to me. Also... And this is probably like terrible advice, and don't take it as advice. That's what you. That's what you're willing to go down with. Like I'm bringing some a machete. So yeah, am I really gonna go with a damn? Because now that's you got to be in really close proximity to yeah, get me to with a tiny knife, like, and you're not hitting me in the no, face. No, oh hell no. So not only are you willing to get assault, or you're about to assault somebody and get arrested and go to jail for this before graduation. So yep. now you're gonna get expelled before graduation. So now you don't even got your diploma. No, you're gonna have to go you're back to get your GED. Your, whole future. your entire your future. entire future for a girl that never wanted you. Right, you're. Probably, your you're probably 18 at this point yeah. or about to turn 18. So you're probably going to be charged with like as an adult. Yeah. So now you're going prison. to actual prison. And for what? For what? For a girl that didn't want you? That just makes no sense to me. So, oh, so Nick, Nick, you messed up. Sit down. <laughs> Get it together. Nick, but it's also, never that deep. 
like shame on the girlfriend and Evan because if Evan is supposedly Nick's best friend mm-hmm. and the girl you were with him for six months, you should have a, established some sort of like respect something for him yeah why didn't y'all just tell him i know why didn't you tell him straight up right that's not real friends then exactly what are the secrets and the lies it's not it's not adding up it's not the math ain't mathin the math ain't math math ain't mathin and wow i can't believe he was about to risk it all for for nothing because it's not even like oh this is chivalry like because you know there's some girls who are like oh he gonna fight for me yeah no what what you, you who you fight for a man that's gonna in choose us, a boy why, scout knife. Also, why in the school parking lot? Like, in the school? Get, not y'all about to get expelled, and y'all got one week left of school. Like, <laughs> right. come on now, pick a different place. Oh. Pick a different place. Maybe like the In and Out or McDonald's. Something. Parking lot. But or also, something. I just think grow up. Grow up. Like that's up. that is not. It's that, never worth it's it. It's not worth it. You're, violence is never the answer. Violence is never the answer, especially for somebody that don't even want you. Don't want Boy, you. It's, stand up. Stand up. I just Stand don't up. understand. You're really willing to ruin your entire ruin your life. entire life, and for what? For nothing. What was your end goal on here? Like cut, cut cutting him? him? Wait, wait. <laughs> give him a, an abrasion because it wasn't going. He wasn't going to break the skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no from me, a honestly. No for me. I think they just need to just let that friend group mourn the friend group and just get new friends. Right. Not even mourn the friend group. Cause it's just, I don't know. When you really take a step back and look at it objectively, it's like these were barely friends to begin with. Yeah, they clearly, if they didn't even tell him from the jump, it's a no. Right. Mm-mm. They had a, that, that they level of respect that wasn't there. There was and... no respect. There was no respect to begin right. with. Right. And you're I mean, assuming you graduated, because yeah. Who knows? Because the police were called or whatever. <laughs> were the police called? If you graduated, if, if you, you made it to college, you're gonna, you that's when you're stepping into, you know, your adult and like more adult formatively, formative years mm-hmm. where you really learn about who you want, who you are as a person, where you want to go in life. Yep. So it's like you're really willing to throw that away for, for over some high school mess. Yeah. And that's it. So now you're not graduating. You're not going to college. Still ain't got the girl. Which, still ain't got the girl. And could be charged with assault. Right. Yeah, so... Uh, All bad. Just, Nick, Nick, I really hope you're okay. We're going to pray for <laughs> you, Nick, honestly. I'm scared of that. All bad. But that is all we have for today. Uh, Make sure you guys check out Joe on all his social media. Where can they follow you, Joe? Across everything, my handle is Some Daily Joe. Some Daily Joe. <laughs> He's the best. He always posts, like, the most inspiring quotes and really good advice on, on your page is just, like... It's a, it's a, it's very real and raw, and Thank you. I really like the way you you brand yourself and everything you stand by. So if you're looking, at, look, hey, if you want some deep advice? Follow his page. Period. I just think for me, when it comes to social media, a lot of people tend to be just very surface and they show just the highlights. They but never show the true raw moments. I think it's do. important you, you to do it all. Give a whole picture of who you are as a person, um, because life isn't perfect. No, and we fall into depression. We we fall into we. We have anxiety. Yep. We question ourselves. There's a lot of things that go into building your character. And, and also being in this are. industry, too. Exactly. Which a lot of people don't touch on ever. Yeah. So I love how raw and real he is. So Thank make you. sure you guys go follow him. <laughs> and I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you all very soon. Bye, guys. See ya.